really an opportunity for us to offer um, our handmade, artisan-made, locally-made goods at a um, reduced price for people, and it makes people really happy. Uh, I think it's community tradition. You know, it's been happening for a number of years. All the locals know when it's happening. It's always the last weekend of July. Um, and, you know, we all know it's coming, so we all get prepared for it, get excited for it, um, and it helps us sell through some of the summer things that we um, make way for the new stuff in the fall. Well, we order special merchandise that's been marked down, a little bit more of a clearance, um, add some extra staff. We'll be having some refreshments here at the store, and then also when uh, customers come into the store, we'll have an additional discount as well. It's culling together, essentially, uh, stuff from all of our stores, things that are, you know, um, things that one, we either think will, people at the sidewalk sales will be psyched about getting for, for cheap, um, or also just sort of titles that have been sitting here for a little while that we want to mark down that we, you know, just need, need to go through to make room for new stuff coming in. The Chamber of Commerce, as well as the bid, since they formed a couple years ago, are, have been really instrumental in the organization of the sidewalk sales. They provide the tents, um, get the set, tent set up for us, it, they make it really easy. I think it's always been a popular event and it's always been a very local event, um, but I think because Northampton has a regional appeal, it's a destination for shopping and dining, that I think we, uh, uh, we draw a fair amount of people from, from outside of the, uh, the immediate Northampton area. It's kind of like, a, almost like a taste of Northampton for like stores to get people in the door you know, maybe get, you know, future customers to come back. And you get repeat shoppers. You get people to come in Thursday and then they come back on Friday and then they come back on Saturday. You know, and that's kind of fun too, because then you can see them and see the development of the stale and all of the other people who are participating. We have more local merchants today than 40 years ago when I was growing up. It's a really fun time to be downtown with all the activities going on on the sidewalks and Faces always has a big setup and Cedar Chest always has a big setup and we've got a cute table outside and different activities going on and food vendors and it's really fun. It's a great time and you really get the energy up and it's outside time and the doors are open and there's lots of people moving in and out and it's just, it's a really good four days for us that we're out in the community that we feel more involved because we're out on the sidewalk and we're back in the store and we see so many customers in and out. The atmosphere is fun. Um, certainly getting a bargain for the day is probably the best thing. One of the fun things for us is to be outside and we sort of take turns who gets to be outside just hanging out and chatting with people. It's a little tough I think sometimes being on the side streets uh, in Northampton. You kind of hope that you know everyone's gonna travel down here. Especially just because sidewalk sales there's lots of uh, you know it brings a lot of people to town that aren't in town normally so just to give them an idea of what sort of store we are because even though we've been here for uh, almost 18 years now there's you know down, being down in the basement there's still lots of people that casually come into town that don't don't know we're here. And Northampton's a a very walkable downtown. You, know, you, can, you can walk from one end to the other uh, in, in fairly short order. And, uh, and uh, again, this uh, selection of almost 50 merchants and restaurants to, to, uh, to choose from, so uh, there's something for everybody.